Morning Children. In this week's story, we will see what other right rulings Yahweh has given to his people. He has all kinds of instructions he wants the Israelites to know about. Things like how to take care of their neighbors, how to dress, and how to treat animals. And not only does he want them to know about these right rulings, he also warns his people to guard them and do them without fail. Remember, Yahweh wants to keep them safe and to bless them. So knowing and following his commands will help them, and does, to enjoy good, prosperous lives. Let's go over some of them together. First, let's look at how Yahweh wants the Israelites to care for their neighbours. They are told that if they see someone else's animal wandering off, or if they find something that belongs to somebody else, they should bring the animal or the item back to that person. If you lost something, wouldn't you want someone to bring it back to you when they found it? I would. So, of course, we should do the same for others. And if they see a neighbor's animal has fallen down, Yahweh tells them that they should stop and help. He also gives them instructions on the right way to lend money or to loan an item to somebody. Now, if an Israelite goes into a neighbor's vineyard where lots of grape plants grow, he may eat from the plant, but is not supposed to collect grapes into his basket. He is not allowed to cut a neighbor's grain, but picking the top part off by hand is okay. If they are in their own fields collecting the harvest, they should not go back for any sheaves that they forgot, or collect grapes that are left behind. These should be left for sojourners, orphans and widows. Yahweh also instructs the people to pay their needy workers the same day that they did the work. Make sure they don't forget to be kind to sojourners, the fatherless and the widows. Measure and weigh things honestly and accurately. Not hate Edomites or Mitzrites. Not only does Yahweh want his people to take care of others, he also wants them to be kind to animals. If a bird's nest is found, the mother has to be let go before the eggs are taken. An ox and a donkey should not be made to plough together. That could be awkward or difficult for them. And an ox should not have to wear a muzzle whilst it is working. Yahweh doesn't want the people mixing up certain things. Different kind of seeds should not be mixed either, so that the fruit that is grown in the vineyard stays the way it was intended to be. And if someone is a boy, he should not wear girls' clothing. And if someone is a girl, she should not wear boys' clothing. Do you think Yahweh wants people to be happy? with the way that he has made them, instead of pretending to be something else. Yahweh also doesn't want the Israelites to wear pieces of clothing that are made with both wool and linen. They will have to pick one or the other. And since we are talking about clothing, let's mention tzitzit. These are the tassels that the Israelites are commanded to wear on the four corners of their garments. Safety is important to Yahweh too. Do your parents ever give you rules to follow so that you won't get hurt? Well, Yahweh has some of these rules for the Israelites. When they build a new house, they should put a parapet on the roof. This is like a small wall or a guardrail that will help keep people from falling off the roof. You might have seen one on a building that has a flat roof where people can walk around on the top. The people are also told that if someone gets a disease called leprosy, 
They should listen to what the priests and the Levites tell them to do. The Israelites are told to make sure they remember to keep their promises. Let's think about that for a minute. Have you ever promised your parents or your siblings or friends that you would do something, but then you didn't follow through with it? Yahweh wants us to be true to our promises. If it is something that we won't really do, then we shouldn't be making that promise. Finally, they get the instructions that certain people are not allowed to be in Yahweh's community for certain periods of time. And they are reminded of how Amalek attacked them and treated them so badly when they were coming out of Mitzrayim. They are told that they should try to erase the memory of Amalek. Well, I think these are enough right rulings for us to cover today. Were there any of these instructions that you already knew about? Were there any instructions that we've talked about today that perhaps you've never heard before? There is always so much to learn when we sit and listen to Yahweh's instructions. Well, we have come to the end of our story for today. So we will see you next time for another exciting Torah portion. Shalom.